All right, music fans. It is I, Dave, the real music observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you. Right there. And me, here. Hey, I'm reporting on Chicago again because, it. look, this could all just be incidental. Could be a lot of coincidences happening. Jeff Coffey released a song yesterday called I've Gotta Get Away. <laughs> um, coincidence? Autobiographical? By the way, a great song. Check it out. I'm serious. It's a great song. Uh, very catchy. Um, Jeff is more of a pop rocker. I think his thing is, is a little more geared toward 80s pop and rock. Um, so, I mean, if you like that kind of music, which I do, I mean, I like all kinds of stuff, but it, it appears that Jeff is a great songwriter and he writes catchy tunes. So if you like catchiness, uh, Jeff's the guy. Jeff Coffey, former lead vocalist and bass player for the band Chicago. <clears throat> Triz M. Bowden, uh, the guy who quit playing drums after, what, 28 years or something like that? Uh, <laughs> Triz is playing drums now with Kenny Loggins, his old buddy. He used to play with Kenny uh, prior to the Chicago gig, and now he's back playing drums with Kenny. Um, are we looking at maybe not the most ideal workplace? That is kind of the theme to this video. And why do I care? Because it's interesting. Okay, it's interesting. It's interesting what... Chicago's management, Peter Chivarelli, okay? Hey, Tony, I'm gonna break your kneecaps if you don't communicate what I'm actually, you know, saying here. Uh, just put out a press release and then we'll deal with it later. They all quit, but we'll put something out. <clears throat> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> it's Chicago. It's real Chicago politics, I think, going on here, folks. Um... I don't buy this stuff. I don't I don't buy uh, that. I mean, look, I know these guys, they did. They wanted to spend more time with their families. Uh, but here's a guy, uh, Jeff, who really got the gig of a lifetime. And I know his family um, certainly, shall we say, had to deal with a lot because he was away a lot. And Chicago puts out this press release Oh no, it's 150 days, and then you can just look up the dates, and it's like 270. And so it was false. It was, you know, fake news, shall I say. Um, on the other side of the equation, Triz and Bowden, for 28 years, uh, I don't think he's, I think his kids are, if he's got kids, I think they're probably all grown up, right? He's got a new wife, and I think the new wife can just kind of like tag along on tour, right? I mean, she can go where he goes. <clears throat> So I think something happened. I think my little reporting that I did the other day about how Neil Donnell was more or less strung along behind Jeff and possibly even Jason uh, as the new singer. And then finally, you know, Jeff, this is, this is, I have not talked to Jeff and Jeff may correct me and say, you're crazy. Don't say that. But until he does, until we have a conversation about it, and I'll come back and I'll correct the record. But Jeff may have said, look, I don't want this guy, you know, looking over my shoulder. I, I mean, I thought I had this gig. How would you like it being in the workplace? And, hey, we hired you, but, you know, there's this replacement in the other room. And at any moment, if you screw up, we're just going to bring him in. Because, you know, we've wanted him all along, even though you beat him in the audition. That was kind of lucky. And the management really likes the other guy better. But, well, you know, you can hang in there. <laughs> How would you like going through life like that? So Jeff Coffey releases this song called <laughs> You Gotta Get Away or I Gotta Get Away. It's brand new tune. If I screwed up the title, I'm sorry. Check out Jeff's page. Go to Amazon.com. It's 99 cents. Download the song. The song is up on YouTube. You can listen to it probably on Spotify as well. Good song. Jeff writes good music, uh, pop and rock. I mean, Chicago would have been smart to record music with Jeff Coffey because he's a naturally good songwriter. <laughs> As Triz M. Bowden is a great drummer who's now back with Kenny Loggins. So these guys, they're not like taking months off to recover from the grueling schedule. They're back at it. They're back working for someone else. In Jeff's case, he's working for himself. 
for uh, Triz, he's working for his old pal, Kenny Loggins, and he's boasting about how awesome it is to be back with Kenny. So again, this raises a few qu uh, questions about the work environment, and this whole is, is some kind of like top-down dictatorship happening with the original guys and their manager, who, by the way, in the documentary, they're just profusely thanking this guy. And also, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they're profusely thanking Peter Chivarelli. Okay? Now, it's fine. It's good that you love your manager, but it kind of, you know, in the documentary, then you kind of get, you know, Jimmy Pankow says about Bill Champlin. And look, I, again, I, I'm not defending Bill Champlin, but I don't think people were actually coming to the Chicago concerts to see Bill Champlin. And I don't think Bill Champlin was saying to anybody, hey, these people are just coming to see me. I think Bill Champlin was like, hey, we're a, we're a tribute band, and I'm hanging out, and I've been here for 20-something years now, and, you know, maybe I should just get off this train and, and do something else. And he did. He had a, a really great solo album he put out, which I really enjoyed. But the point being is I think in the documentary it comes off as Bill Champlin is like this guy who thinks, hey, everybody, the world revolves around me. And Jimmy Pank is like, you're out of here. We don't need you. You're out of here. It's, it's a little weird. No offense to the late Glenn Fry, but it sounds like Glenn Fry in the Eagles documentary where he's just like, and we just fired him. <laughs> he didn't get along. He didn't do what we told him to do. So we just fired him, you know? And I don't know. This to me looks like some workplace abuse. All right, I don't know what's going on. I could be way off base here. I'm using observation skills here. Uh, and I, I do have one source who uh, came forward who is close to the current situation or somebody in the band now. Uh, and that's all I'm saying. And they gave me some very <coughs> interesting information which more or less validates this idea. So Jeff Coffey, brand new song. Check it out. Jeff, you still rock. You're awesome, dude. If I'm way off base, please reach out to me and we'll have a we'll have a talk about it and I can set the record straight and say how wonderful it was uh, working uh, with these guys. Triz, Triz, you're with Kenny Loggins, buddy. I wish you luck. You're a great drummer and Kenny Loggins is... I gotta do a Kenny Loggins video. I mean, the guy's a, he's just a monster. Had so much great music and whether it was himself or with Messina... Uh, Kenny Loggins uh, even did a, a song with that guy that I don't talk about. SP. Remember him? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm Dave, and I am the Real Music Observer. I'll be back with more real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. And I promise to lay off the espresso. I promise. It's afternoon, and it was a bad idea. Talk to you later.